Yesterday, William Blake came to tea with his printing press of gold and a soul to call his own. Vincent cries a tear, man, he cries one for every year. Watching with his eyes and listening with his ear, he was a saint. And the taint of blood on his hands was his own. The pale boy leaning at the base of a tree, carving his name, James Dean. Spring full of youth, in three movies he pointed the way. Then came to his end on the desert highway. Still, the blood on his hands was his own. Hemingway sits writing through the hot Spanish sun of an age which from his is now ours till his youth went out and a 12 bore shotgun in his mouth sent his soul winging south still the blood on his hands was his own Medio Modliani drawing pictures for bread and around the bar tables lay the genius from his head until the life he led and the wine in time brought his work to a close still the blood on his hands was his own Dylan Thomas gave poetry a bright new blaze and a life bigger than most could take or understand. In a land where the bands play a music, only he could know the score. And he died as he lived on the American shore. Still, the blood on his hands was his own. Pointing at artists and poets who lived and by their own wills died. Is it a sign of a time more than insane and not worthy of sharing the free flowing spirit created by men in a world which half the time is not even conscious of having them? You tell me what guilt is yours and is that blood on your hands only your own? Terry Durham, that is Crystal Telephone. I think, Andy, we might well once before have played something from this. I think it's a favourite of Ian McMillan, the poets. Uh, yeah. uh, same neck of the woods, because I think he's from originally from Yorkshire, isn't he, as you can hear on that? That's right. So tell us about Terry Durham, then, oh, Andy. Terry's a, a legend. For me, he's like the Serge Gansborg of the Wakefield Mill Workers Association. <laughs> and it, it, it seems to me that he might even smoke more cigarettes than Gansborg. <laughs> I'm looking at the album sleeve now, he's got a bit of that Gansborg thing going on, hasn't he? Tabs, big tash, looks a little bit like, you know, he might have had the odd late night and the odd dalliance with the ladies. Yeah, he looks pretty hard he as well. He does look hard, I wouldn't, yeah. yeah, yeah. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think he, s he talks or sings or speaks about fags on every track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he he's does. He's certainly got one nearly burnt down, uh, in the, uh, cover. He's certainly got a tab on that. In the back, he's got his hand in his pockets, we can't tell. He's probably got one burning in there, though. He's the eternal pessimist on this record. <laughs> he's, like, so moody. He, um, he seems to have a cloud for every silver lining, <laughs> does, does Terry. But he's got heavy UK session men on there to back him up, as you can hear. And that's his beat, beatnik adventure, so he starts getting a bit Kerouac with that Just, track. Yes, yeah, yeah, he did, definitely. Uh, we should say it's called Dreams of Tomorrow in Every Language, that track we heard. I'd really? love to know what Terry's up to now. I mean, you know, I, I, is he still with us? Who knows? I bet somebody knows. He went off to live in Cornwall and then Beckenham, because he's a bit of an artist, wasn't he? So, if anybody knows what Terry has been up to in intervening years, we'd love to know. Stuart.6music at bbc.co.uk.